Uh, we're here at the Lenaro Connect, and uh, who are you? I'm Pradeep Katel. I'm the chief software architect for Cisco's network software uh, and operating systems group. So, chief architect for Cisco's, uh, is it ARM networking or what? It is the network operating system group. So, if you look at, from Cisco's perspective, we create these uh, network operating systems. Okay. And uh, there's a whole division for those network operating systems. And I'm the chief software architect for that division. So it means that networking needs an OS? Yes, networking needs an OS. And the, the networking OS means two things. One is as OS as we understand it, like Linux. Okay. But when we talk about networking OS, it's not only the Linux, it's the whole system. So how the system behaves from a high availability perspective, how do you deploy the system, how you configure the system, how do you manage, um, manage these systems, and on top of that, how do you put uh, the networking technologies which are required to make the internet work or these networks work. And all that sort of falls into the network operating system category. So operating system, I thought it was just one place running on one machine, but if it's networking, it has to run uh, around the whole, many different devices at the same time, how does it work? No, no, so the, when we call network operating system, it is runs on one machine, okay, but it is the operating system which is sort of optimized to run on the networking devices. Okay, that's why we call it network operating system. So it runs on a router? Or? It, it runs on a routers, it runs on a switches, it have typical network, typical operating system services, it have high availability services, it have routing protocols, it have switching protocols, it have a lot of other protocols, so that's why if you put all of this together, that's what network operating. So each of these devices run this network OS? Yes, each of these devices run network OS. And uh, how is that different from what was going on five years ago or something? Uh, are you going to move into a different direction now? I, I, I think the things are evolving, what was happening in five years ago and now. A couple of things which are happening is, uh, five years ago, everything was very physical. Okay, this net, the functionality was tied to a physical box, you went to a networking vendor, bought a physical box. Now what is happening for last year and a half to two years is this whole concept of software-defined network and network function virtualization. So what's happening is this network operating system is getting broken up and parts of network operating system is running on a regular uh, s servers or in the data center and then we basically connecting these pieces together through service chaining and other stuff to make all the network work together. So it's now going from physical to virtual to hybrid and that's what changed in last say year and a half. So hybrid and uh, the people interested in that are let's say ISPs or uh, Wi-Fi providers, who, who, who's interested in getting these more higher uh, functionality stuff implemented? So, uh, when I talk about hybrid, hybrid is a combination of having a physical box and some of the technology running as, as a virtual function in a VM or somewhere else. Okay. A lot of uh, service providers and data center uh, are interested into this hybrid because in some cases it gives them agility. Okay. They can instantiate more uh, services, okay, networking services, and they can shrink the networking services. So as the data center grows or shrinks, they can uh, grow and shrink their network. So uh, is Linux, is it? So Linux is a basic uh, block. Okay. So we use Linux as basically the kernel, if you like to call it. And then we build it on top of Linux okay, to build a network, you know, networking operating system. Does it make the hardware uh, more efficient, or the software more efficient, or uh, is it just adding functionality and not necessarily more efficient? So, the way I'm reading your question is, does Linux make hardware more efficient or not? And for us, Linux we are using as an operating system, it or kernel. It gives us the basic fundamental kernel services. And for Cisco, there is no reason to build those kernel services services again and again in-house. So we, we are working with the Linux community, we are working with Linaro, we are working with LNG to make sure that Linux has what uh, networking vendors need. Okay, And then we are building applications or networking protocols on top of it. So it was launched a year ago, the LNG, yep. Linaro Networking Group. Yep. And uh, how many people are in there? I think it's about 
12 or 13 people or uh, companies are in there. I don't know the exact number, okay. but uh, there are few companies which come from the networking background. There are few companies which come from the software houses, software background, and there are few companies who come from microprocessor uh, system on a chip background. So do you think that uh, all of networking industry is going to be part of this? Like uh, it's in the interest of everybody working in networking to do optimized Linux on ARM? So I, I think means it depends on different companies' strategy to different companies' strategy, but I think ARM is going to start playing a role into the networking industry. And you, we will see adop adoption of ARM in the networking devices. So what LNG is doing is very important for us, okay, and will become very important for networking industry. Is there a lot of uh, Cisco, I don't know if I can ask that, is there a lot of Cisco hardware based on ARM already, or is it going to be much more in the future? How does it work? I think uh, we are looking at ARM as a possible future chip. Okay, we don't have... Because uh, it's important to save power, and to have uh, more efficient devices everywhere. Hey, yes, it is. But power is much more important in uh, the handheld market, as it, and not as much in the networking market yet. Because a lot of networking devices are electric powered, so the uh, how lo how much power I can burn is not a big issue. Also, people want the, their networking devices to be available when they want to start working. They don't want the device coming up out of its news and you, it is available after a minute. Okay. So, yes, power is very important. We need to reduce the power everywhere. Okay. But it's not as important as uh, mobile devices. Is there a lot of stuff you get from the Linaro Enterprise Group and from other parts of Linaro? Everything gets, like also everything is connected? So Lenaro Enterprise Group, if you look at how the uh, networking devices look like, if you look, think about networking devices, you can make that software sort of two pieces. Okay. There's a data plane software and there's a control plane software. Okay. When we talk about the control plane software, the control plane software looks like more uh, server class software. We need a lot of server class. So we get some of the functionalities which LEG is doing. Okay. The other thing is, if we look at uh, network function virtualization, some of the software which is virtualized will run on servers. Okay. So again, the LEG, what LEG is doing is also very important from a networking perspective. And you have big uh, plans in the roadmap for what needs to happen in the LNG. Uh, on LNG, we started with two items on the roadmap, which was uh, making the Linux Big Endian, okay, and supporting Big Endian ARM, which have been delivered last year. The second thing for us was open data plane or SOC abstraction that's going on this year. That's going to take a lot of cycles from us, so I think 2014 is going to be all about open data plane.